Aladdin Creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video of Aladdin Creations. My name is Kavindu. So this is the first video I am releasing in this new year 2020. So I wish you a happy and successful year for all of you guys. And I hope to design more and more creative education content on this year. Anyway, today video I hope to discuss with you another important hematology topic manual parallel count test actually what is the manual parallel count test what is the principle behind this test how to perform this test and what are the sources of errors related to this test we'll discuss in this video Platelets are component of blood that help your body form clots in case of bleeding. There are fragments of cytoplasm that are derived from megakaryocytes of the bone marrow. A healthy adult individual normal platelet count ranges from 150,000 to 450,000 platelets per microliter of blood. Having more than normal range platelets called thrombocytosis and having less than normal range is known as thrombocytopenia. So platelet count is really good clue to diagnose hidden disease that may be affect the process of blood clotting leading to bleeding. Therefore manual count is really important test for get idea about some critical disease conditions. Principle Blood is diluted in a filtered solution of 1% ammonium oxalate at a ratio of 1 to 20. It lies red blood cells and remain white blood cells and platelets. Then, platelets are counted microscopically using include neoba counting chamber and number of platelets per liter of blood is calculated. Requirements EDT anticoagulated fresh venous blood improved neoba counting chamber filtered 1% ammonium oxalate dilution fluid humic chamber and microscope method mix the blood sample carefully and add 0.38 ml of filtered 1% ammonium oxalate into a clean glass tube Then add 20 microliter of blood and mix it well. Leave it for 3 to 4 minutes to lyse red blood cells. Assemble and clean the counting chamber. Then charge it carefully with the bow suspension. To prevent drying of charged fluid, keep the chamber in humid container for 15 to 20 minutes, allowing platelets to the settle down. After that, focus the rolling area of counting chamber under 10 power objective and count the platelets in the middle large square that means all 25 small squares using 40 power objective and lower the condenser to reduce the light intensity. In this case, platelets appear as highly retractile particles. Pipe blood cells count is low, so it does not 
interfere with platelet count. So when we calculate platelet count per liter of blood, number of platelets counted multiply by dilution factor divide from the volume. So normal range equal to 150 to 400 tender bubble 6 per liter. Source of errors. Also we can see number of source of errors related to this test. Unmixed blood sample, pipetin errors, improper mixing after dilution, dirty counting chamber or cover glass, uneven distribution of platelets, overfilling or underfilling of counting chamber, drawn counting techniques, intense elimination and drawn calculation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and in my next video, I hope to discuss with you everything about nutritional cells. So, don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.